Team Scratch, welcome back to Scratch Go Wild Channel. Thanks again for checking in. Thanks for being here. Thanks everybody for the prayer, the love, the support. Really appreciate it. And the encouragement as well. As you can see, we're at another water tower. So, we took a little break, go back, spend some time with the family. And got back on the trail on Sunday. Back in North Adams, Massachusetts, where we got off. And now I'm in Vermont. Just like that. We keep cranking out the miles and we keep going. So, this is the second water tower. Number two dos for those of you that speak the Espanol. And I did not get the first one, which is a very similar looking water tower. Just because it was completely socked in. There was no reason to go ahead and climb that thing just to show you all a bunch of clouds. But this one, it looks like we got a clear day. It was foggy when I got up this morning. It rained. We are at about uh, 12 miles right now, about 5 p.m. Got about three to go before we hit the shelter, but I couldn't help but stop and get another video and, and tell you about this, this tower. So, yep, I'm a little out of breath. I just climbed up here. Um, so this is the Stratton Mountain Tower. They also call it the Cradle of the Appalachian and Long Trails. And I'll get to that in a minute, but the Stratton Mountain, which is what we're standing on right now, right here on top of, is an elevation of 300, 300, that wouldn't be very high, would it? That would be silly to do a video of that. 3,936 feet, and it's the highest mountain in southern Vermont. So here we go, we're on top of that. And we went to Mount Greylock, which was the highest mountain in Massachusetts, and so on and so forth. Um, we did not go to the highest mountain in North Carolina. If you all remember, I told you about that. We went to Clingman's Dome, which is the highest point on, that's right, the Appalachian Trail. But Mount Mitchell is actually the highest mountain in North Carolina and actually the highest mountain east of the Mississippi. So just a reminder for all you geography buffs out there. So they call this Stratton Mountain the cradle of the Appalachian and the Long Trail. You're like, What's the Long Trail? I hadn't heard of the Long Trail. Well, the Long Trail is a 273-mile trail up here uh, in the northeast. And for about 100 miles, the Long Trail and the Appalachian Trail coincide. They're the same trail for about 100 miles, but then the Long Trail diverts in one direction and the AT goes in a different direction. But it's right here where the idea of the long trail was conceived and it was in 1909 a guy named james taylor conceived of that idea standing right here and he wanted to extend a trail from massachusetts to canada and uh then in 1921 is when the appalachian trail was conceived and it was kind of based off of the Long Trail. Benton McKay learned about the Long Trail and he said, hey, we should have actually a National Park Scenic Trail that traverses almost the entire Eastern United States. So in 1921, after Taylor's Long Trail, Benton uh, began the concept and got the politicians and volunteers and all kinds of people in it and that's where how it was born and this is where it was born so the stratton mountain tower fire lookout which is what we're going to go up here in a minute is a 55 foot tower uh and it replaced the one that was back here in 1914 and yes i'm reading this off the plaque i'm going to show you guys in a minute uh, once again, we've talked about the Civilian Conservation Corps. Remember back in the 30s when people needed jobs, they came up with this concept of the Civilian Conservation Corps. And so they put people to work building things. And I've showed you several. I told you a lot of these towers were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in the early 30s. So this one was actually built in 1934. And uh, it is listed in the Register of His National Register of Historic Places uh, because of the tower that was there before it. And there's other things I could tell you about, but basically, that's about it. The only other thing I'll tell you is the Nature Conservatory pushed the summit lands from the International Paper Company in 1985. Um, and that's what we are going through here. And so I'm going to go ahead and 
just leave this on here. I don't know that it's readable, but maybe you can zoom in, pause, take a look at it. And then, of course, we're going up the fire tower because that's the fun thing to do when you've been hiking 12 miles. It's 5 p.m. And you got jello legs. Oh, and I want to show one of the few fire towers. It might be kind of hard to read. I'm trying to shade the sun out of there. But uh, actually, they invite you to climb this one. They say maximum of four people on the tower at one time. And so let's back up. We'll get a good look at the tower before we go running up there. I just, we are not going to run. We're going to walk, but hopefully briskly so that I can get on to camp. Boy, that sun's killing me here. There we go. You can kind of get a good look at it there. And here we go. We're going to go up these stairs and check it out. Extra 55 feet. What's 55 feet on elevation when you've been climbing like up 2,000 feet all day? At least I have a handrail. That's kind of nice. Actually feels pretty sturdy. Not like the rickety one I did way back when. And I forget exactly where that was. Oh, that sun feels amazing after three days of rain. And oh my gosh, the views are just phenomenal. And I'm not even at the top yet. I mean, I've got three more levels to go. Oh my gosh. And look at these, look at this spruce pine forest. Oh, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Oh. And there, there's a little lake out there, a couple little lakes. I don't know what we got over there. Some kind of communications tower and some buildings to go with it. All right, here we go. On up here. Oh, yeah, there's a sign that says no camping. How cool would that be? Camp out in this thing up here. This is nice. It's all enclosed. Whew. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is the reason. Well, there's lots of reasons, but this is one of the reasons. I'm hiking and you guys are hiking with me and we're hiking the Appalachian Trail. Just phenomenal. I mean, my camera does not even do justice to the views. I wish I could do, wish I could figure out how to zoom in this thing. Maybe one day I'll figure that out, I don't know. Look at that huge lake over there. Whew, wish I was on there fishing. And just a beautiful, beautiful, like I said, spruce pine forest down here that we're hiking through. Phenomenal. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Let me get the camera out here. Hopefully I won't. Little broken window. Helps get a little better view for all of us. You know, just with that view, I just have to say, I've just been utterly amazed by the views, by the beauty of God's creation, but also just by the fact that we have so many natural resources in this country that are on top. It's just, it's just fantastic, and I, and I just love it. Um, this is where I belong. I'm not a, I'm not a city guy. I don't, I don't do big. I, I, I can do big cities for a short time, but I certainly don't want to live there or anything. It's so peaceful, so amazing. The people are so friendly out here. Just absolutely loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So here we go. Let's get back down these stairs. Hopefully, back out here in the wind really haven't been in the wind all day today because I've been shielded by all the spruce fir trees yep gonna take our time going down this one I mean I don't know if you guys can tell but uh, that's a pretty good drop right there would hate to drop down that but I like this view right here 
as well just because you're getting the this does that's my buddy Rocco also trail name Vista would say he loves the Vistas just fabulous fantastico and we're going back down all right team so there you go hope you're enjoying it i hope you can smell all the all the balsam, all the pine scent, the fir scent, the spruce scent. It's just utterly, fantastically amazing. And I am so blessed to be out here. So blessed to have all of you on the team and all of you with me. Thank you so much for being here. There's our sign pointing the way. 3.2 miles till we get to Stratton Pond. Hopefully be there before 7. So... You guys know the deal. Say your prayers. Be positive. Do something good for somebody. Have a glass of wine for me tonight because I really need it today. I've been pounding hard. And until next time, Sky King out.